Hey guys, Sean here. Um, I just wanted to uh, clarify um, what what in the heck um, I'm referring to when I talk about things that I don't remember that mat don't match up, or things I do remember that don't match up with what current reality says is what's going on on uh, the Mandela effect. Um, so if I say that um, when I was a kid, I remember such and such, and I and it's and it's not just a feeling, but I actually have uh, something to corroborate that um, that memory, like a word that uh, I spelled a certain way that I learned in school, like I was specifically taught how to spell this word, and for years and years that's how it was spelled. And then uh, in, in, in an adult in the working world, and Google spell checker is telling me it's wrong, and and then I realize, holy crap, it's totally different, or you know, a little bit. I'm sorry, a little bit different spelling all of a sudden. And then when I look into it, it's always been spelled the way it's spelled now. So how did I learn to spell it differently? So th that kind of situation. Um, it's because we've all come from different physical realities. Everybody, all of us, have our own unique path. And we're all moving from parallel reality to parallel reality many times every second. And and for some reason, now, in modern, modern times, maybe it's because of the internet. Maybe it's because human evolution. For whatever reason, people are starting to become consciously aware and awakened to some of these um, different memories. And so it's not that, you know, like, so like I'll say, you know, I remember the word being spelled like this. And then someone might comment, well, it's always been spelled the way it is spelled now. Yes, for you it has, but for me it has not, and for others it may or may not, because it, it, we all come from different places. So, so yeah, so the answer is we're both right. You're right, and I'm right. It, now, of course, there is a chance that I, I am truly misremembering things, and some people who have the Mandela effect things going on, yeah, yeah, it's just a yeah. Some of it is due to um, um, imperfect human memory. Absolutely. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes the, the person experiencing this, the Mandela effect situation lived in a reality where that was true. And, and, it, and they've shifted into a different reality where that's not true any longer. I'll give you one that, that uh, me and, and others, uh, uh, even people in my own office at work, uh, remember different. It's um, um, Dilemma. Dilemma. D-I-L. Dilemma. Oh my God. <laughs> dilemma. D-I-L-E-M-M-A. Dilemma. But I learned it as D-I-L-E-M-N-A with an N. It's freaking weird. Dilemma. It, it, it just seems weird, but that's how it was. That's how it was. That's how, that's how I learned how to spell it. And But that's that doesn't exist now. There is no such thing as dilemma with an N, except that millions of people... I, I, I'm pretty sure it's millions of people. Uh, you can find many tens of thousands of uh, examples of being dilemma being spelled just that way with an M N, not two M's, but M N dilemma. You you if you Google search uh, with the quotes, so it's just the word dilemma with the N with the quotes. So you have to find that exact spelling on the internet, and bam, many many examples published. Front page newspaper articles uh, uh, with this the spelling like that, um, and then there's countless examples of people just you know re referencing that spelling in their normal like conversations, um, their comments on different videos or whatever. But you'll find published, well known, mainstream uh, places like you know like New York Times or something along those lines that have like the title dilemma dilemma with an M N. There is a lot of people who exist in a reality uh, where that was how it was spelled. It's just, and then they've shifted physically, like they're in a different physical reality where they, it was never spelled that way. But they just have the memory of it, but there's no physical evidence. So, so yeah, both parties are right. The people who say, wait, it's always been with two M's. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you exist in a reality where it was always two M's. You didn't, you, you know, we've all, we all shift in, into different ways. But with regard to the how you spell dilemma, some people lived in a reality where it was spelled with an M N. Other than that, it was probably almost identical to the reality where to, you know, so the two, there's person one, person two. Person one remembers the M N. Person two, it's always been two M's. Person one and person two 
came from different reality streams, different consciousness streams. And they're both sharing the same consciousness stream now, but they came from different places. So there's, it's, it's a little, it gets a little complicated to, to pinpoint with, with words. Language can only go so far, but I just wanted to kind of, uh, explain that a little bit. Um, and then I have a, I have, um, I have a, a Mandela effect. I wanted to, where is it? Um, yes, the crayons. There was one I was, I wanted to bring that up. It's a, there, it's a very simple, if you're still watching this video, well, here's this Mandela effect. Um, 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 some semi common Mandela effect. And you just don't, I just don't hear a lot about it, but there are a lot of people who say, Whoa, and it has to do with Crayola crayons and the flesh colored crayon. Um, it's now peach and peach, but once upon a time, the Crayola crayons, it was, um, that peach, peach was, it was actually said flesh on the crayon itself, flesh colored. Um, and then due to, um, it, it's, you know, it's basically, it was, uh, shown as disrespectful, um, to call one color flesh when there's so many, uh, t co uh color schemes, color, different, different races and ancestry. So they got rid of it because it wasn't appropriate. It wasn't, you know, politically correct or whatever you want to say it. It wasn't appropriate to call that flesh. So they call it peach. Um, now here's the part where the, here's where the Mandela effect comes into play. Um, in this current time stream that we're in now, that we're sharing, that color was changed a long time ago. I believe it was the 60s. Uh, so in the 60s and earlier, it was flesh. And then in the 60s, it got switched to peach. But yet you will find a many people out there who remember in the 70s and in the 80s growing up or being a parent and seeing the Crayola crayons, new packages bought from the store, that say flesh. And then sometime in the 80s, um, it was switched to peach. So basically, in this reality stream, it would have been impossible to buy to buy a brand new package of crayons from Crayola and have it say flesh if it was like, you know, in the 70s or 80s because it was changed in the 60s. But some people came from a reality where it didn't change until later. Both people are correct. All right. Enough blabbing for me for now. Have a good day, guys.